Hey there guys, how's it going? Dr. Mike Belkowski of BioLite here. And on this video, I just wanted to quickly go over how red light therapy can help you combat pain of all types, whether it be acute or chronic, um, just kind of a nagging, aching pain or joint pain, headache. Because um, in the end, and I know this as a doctor of physical therapy, the way I treat my patients um, every single day is that I'm using uh, modalities that in some way do two things, and they typically do both. One is the reducing inflammation, and the reason this is important is because inflammation sensitizes the nerves. And what I mean by sensitize is that um, when there's inflammation in the area, the chemicals around that nerve make it more likely to send a pain signal to your brain. So instead of a punch required to send pain signals to the brain, now it's just taking a brush stroke or even maybe just my clothing to cause pain signals to my brain. And that's what happens with inflammation. Get rid of that inflammation and then the, the, the nervous system normalizes and it takes that punch again to send those pain signals. So again, by reducing inflammation, you normalize the nervous system and you desensitize the nerves, meaning they go back to sending normal signals to the brain, appropriate signals, pain signals to the brain. And then um, the other treatment modalities, they also improve circulation. And the reason this is important is because, kind of just like um, with uh, decreasing inflammation, if there's a lack of oxygen to an area, whether it be the nerves or the muscles especially, um, that's not gonna be comfortable to your body. Again, pain signals to the brain. And a lot of times when we're dealing with just um, traditional musculoskeletal pain, um, it's tight, tight, tight muscles. And think about that, if my fist is just a tight muscle, um, look at what's gonna happen. And if I do this for a full, let's say one, two, three, four, five minutes, and I just did a fist, clench fist, you're gonna notice that it's gonna be white, and then all of a sudden, you see that red, reperfusion um, that slowly comes back. And that, and you can see my palms getting a little more red, a little more red, a little more red. And that's blood flow, that's oxygen, circulation coming back into the area. But if you have what's called a trigger point, um, think of a tight, tight, ropey muscle that's not letting go, that muscle's getting a lack of oxygen. It's not getting circulation. And so what I do with a lot of my patients is I utilize dry needling, I utilize cupping, I utilize high intensity uh, vibrational massage with a massage gun, and um, I might use all three, I might use just one of those. If I had to choose one, it's dry needling because it's so powerful, but all three of those are going to, again, help reduce inflammation in some way or help improve circulation in some way. And doing those two in tandem is very synergistic and it leads to a lot of pain relief. So that's a lot of, that's a lot of jibber jabber um, about other things that can help you with uh, pain. But what about red light therapy? How can that help? Well, it goes back to the same principle. Red light therapy between the red or the near infrared, you're gonna get these same benefits. We already know that the, the research strongly indicates that red and near infrared light can drive down inflammation. That alone is gonna take care of a lot of pain. It might not be as immediate as some of those other treatments I mentioned, you know, dry needling, cupping, massage, uh, sauna is another good one. Um, but it's something you can do at home. It's something you can do consistently. It's something you can invest in now that's going to last forever. So eventually, um, or very quickly, it's going to pay for itself. But again, it's something you can do in the comfort of your home. It's very safe. It's non-invasive. It doesn't require drugs um, and the negative side effects that come with that. So. It's, it's a win-win-win-win option, uh, no matter how you look at it. So, I just want to quickly go over, you know, what the research currently shows. And this is, this is not um, the end-all, be-all list, but these are just some of the things that the research currently shows that red light therapy can help with as far as reducing pain. Um, chronic neck pain, knee pain, fibromyalgia, and that's a big one because fibromyalgia is the seemingly random pain patterns that... Um, Again, the person almost sounds crazy when you listen to them talk because their pain pattern doesn't um, necessarily match up or there's no pattern to it. But let me tell you what, that person typically has systemic inflammation. 
And so their body's just rampant with inflammation. And so that's why they can have pain here one day and then here another and then here another. It just doesn't add up and it doesn't make sense from a doctor's perspective. But when you understand the pathology, fibromyalgia is, it can be scary and frustrating to have. But when you understand that um, inflammation is typically at the root of it, then you can attack it from that angle. And red light therapy can be very beneficial for those with fibromyalgia. Um, low back pain, that's the most classic reason I see um, a person in physical therapy is they have lower back pain. Um, chronic pain in the elbow, wrist, fingers. And neurologically, that typically comes from one or two nerves. So if you treat that nerve path, the radial, the median, or the ulnar nerve, or all three, you're going to get some really good results uh, reducing elbow, wrist, and finger pain. Chronic joint disorders, and I've gotten a lot of people emailing or messaging or just relaying to me that they're getting amazing results with their joint pain. I had a lady email me a week or two ago saying um, she had knee pain that was so bad that she couldn't really walk. I mean, she was limping, she was hobbling. Um, her son referred her to get a red light therapy panel, and she just emailed me that she's walking normally for the first time in a long time. It's Red light therapy has been her saving grace. I'm sure she's done other things as well to help out, but it seemed that red light therapy was something that really moved the dial for her. So, I mean, I've had multiple people say joint pain. It's been a game winner. Um, sacroiliac pain. So, again, kind of lower back, just a little more towards that tailbone. You could almost call that joint pain. So, it makes sense that um, SI joint pain is relieved. Chronic tooth pain. There's a lot of research showing um, orthodontic, oral, um, dental pain or other you know, inflammatory uh, bacterial viral issues can be helped and relieved and mitigated and reversed with red light therapy. Um, osteoarthritic pain. So again, OA or osteoarthritis is inflammatory. So again, remove the inflammation, get some oxygen and um, circulation into the area. A lot of great things are going to happen. And then tendinitis and myofascial pain. Or, I mean, it's just kind of like you're repeating the same thing that at the end of the day, um, all these reasons and all these different um, pains and pathologies that can be remedied with red light therapy, it comes back to improving circulation and reducing inflammation. And just kind of a quick recap as to how red light therapy can improve circulation because we, we know that it can reduce inflammation by inhibiting the COX-1 uh, and 2 pathway, which is just like taking ibuprofen, but without uh, disrupting your stomach lining, your gut lining. Um, is that with um, circulation, when the red or near infrared light penetrates you and it, um, or it, it hits and stimulates the mitochondria, um, the photoacceptor in the, in the mitochondria called the cytochrome C oxidase, which typically holds on to nitric oxide, um, when that red and near infrared light hits it, they disassociate, they break apart. So now when you immerse yourself with red and near infrared light, you have all these nitric oxide, all these NO particles being released into your bloodstream. So then all these NO particles cause vasodilation um, versus vasoconstriction, which is what's typically happening when you have pain or tight muscles. Um, with, with the NO release, now you're getting this vasodilation. Things are opening up. Um, so this is kind of good in two ways. Um, the most, you know, thing we think about first is now blood flow is getting in, oxygen's getting in, a lot of good things happen. But also what's happening at the same time is the, the garbage and the toxins that have been trapped in that area that also can um, cause, you know, the sensitization of the nervous system is being released. It's being pushed out into the lymph where it can be um, released from the body and it can leave. So you have good things coming in, you have bad things leaving if you want to look at it that way. Um, so in a nutshell, that's how red light therapy can be very effective at reducing all types of pain. Um, if you guys have any questions or need any more specifics about um, or want some specific research on a, spe a specific pain in red light therapy, um, just leave a comment below or send an email to info at biolight.shop. I love interacting with everyone and, and teaching and, and helping out in any way I can. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, we'll, do, we'll be doing more um, videos in the future. If I find any really cool uh, new research that comes out related to pain, I'll, I'll post about it on our um, Instagram, which is biolight.shop, or I'll do another video here, kind of updating on the research. 
Um, but in the meantime, hope you guys are doing well. Have a great day and um, red light therapy all the way.